So I got some torque wrenches here and a micrometer and stuff. Now if you look at this torque wrench, you'll see that it's got the black lettering and stuff like that, and I can actually see it to read it. This one, it's just ground in there. So um, sometimes it gets hard to see. So I got this micrometer here, and I already did it, and it looks better. You couldn't hardly see it at all. I'm going to try to do this torque wrench. I don't know how well you'll see this, but this is what I plan on using. It's a lacquer stick, fill-in paint. I've used it on this micrometer, and it did help some. It wasn't exactly as well as I wanted to. And I'm not sure if I used it right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and rub it on here and let it dry for a little bit and then wipe it off. I think I wiped it off of this one too soon. But before I do that, I will just take some rubbing alcohol and get any kind of grease or anything out of them grooves to make sure the paint sticks. I think you'll see good enough for this part what I'm doing. I'll take me a paper towel. Once you're rubbing alcohol, because I want to get it down in them grooves. Try to get any oil, grease, or anything, and then we're going to let it dry. Now this is the way it came. Sticking out one side, and it's kind of almost flat on the other. But it feels like it's got I don't know if it's a lacquer dried up on it or whatever, but I had to rub on it some to get it to go. So let's just try this part here. And the first time I used it, I had to rub a lot longer. And I'm going different directions, hoping I fill all this in. Like I say, I have no idea what I'm doing, if this will work. We'll see here in a minute, won't we? I just figured I'd bring you along, because... If it works, it's interesting. If it don't work, you'll know not to try this. So, I know it pretty much wipes off, so. I just don't think I let it dry long enough. Does anybody use these? Can they give me any tips that I'm not doing right? Because I'd really like this to work, and if someone can help me figure it out, that'd be great. Like I say, I, this is, I used it one time on this micrometer. And that's all I've used it is. We can smell it a little bit. Not that bad. But I think I didn't wait long enough to, for it to dry. So I'm going to let this set here and dry. I just did it. And it's 7.02. So I'll give it till 7.08. Or something like that and I'll bring you back. Okay, it's about 8.30, maybe just a little bit later, I was taking my soon-to-be 20-year-old dog for a little golf cart ride. So this stuff is still tacky. We're going to try to wipe it off, see what happens. See, it's still smeary. And it looks like we're taking it right out of the... ...things. I'm thinking I probably should have waited longer. What do you guys think? Okay, so here's what we ended up with. It did a little bit. But so far I'm not impressed. I think what I'm going to do is clean this all off really good and then up here on the barrel I think I'll just put some of that lacquer paint and then let it dry overnight and then sometime tomorrow we'll come back and um, see if letting it dry makes a difference. Seems how I don't know how to use the pen and this smooth part it don't matter if there's a black stain there anyway. If I can put this on there, 
and then tomorrow, if that's completely dry and I can wipe that off of there, off of this chromey part, then that's what I'll do here. I'll put it on there and let it completely dry and then see what happens. So far, this isn't working out the way I was hoping. So I've got a ratchet here that's got numbers stamped into it. I'm going to um, fill that in with that paint and leave it dry overnight and see what happens to this. So here we are a couple days later. Um, see what happens. That's too long, I can tell you that probably. Not wanting to come off. I guess so, it did pretty much fill those in. So I don't know if you can see that. But did kind of fill them in a little bit. I'm not sure that's what I want to do here. I think what I do, see what happens if I put a little bit of rubbing alcohol in there. So it looks like if you left it on too long or didn't like it. It looks like rubbing alcohol is cutting it back off. So that's good to know. Rubbing alcohol seems to remove it. And if you put it down in the grooves, I guess you could maybe try to wipe off the top with rubbing alcohol. You have to see. You have to worry about pulling it up out of the grooves. You know, a plastic spooger or something plastic, you could probably scrape that off. So I can see a little bit of blackness in there. I think what I'm going to do is put this on here again. I'll do it like I did on that micrometer. I'm just going to leave it on here a couple minutes. And then I'll try to wipe it off. The numbers on the handle here is a little bigger. Engraved in there and stuff. So it's not as big a deal. I just wish these numbers would stay a little highlighted better. This is what I did with the micrometer. I did this, and then I thought I could just wipe it off. I'm just rubbing real gentle. So it looks like it did fill them in better when I did this. You just kind of got to watch not rub too hard or it will take it right back out of there. So I think what I'll do this time is just rub it lightly like that. And over here I rub too much out. I think I'll rub it lightly, get the most of it off because I know if I take a damp thing of rubbing alcohol, I know it'll come off the residue. So. So I'm just going to kind of almost blot it off of there. I can see that down in there pretty good now. Any of these spots here and all, I'm sure a little bit of rubbing alcohol would take that off. Probably should try to keep it off the knurled part. Like I say, I'm going to do this, and then I think I'll let it dry for several hours and just come back and do this again. 
Okay, it's probably been an hour or so. I'm going to see if I can get a little more of this off without... You try not to go along the lines, try to go across them. I see some places better than others. So I don't know, it did fill them in and it did make them darker and you can read them a little better. But it really ain't exactly what I was hoping for. Maybe a different color, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not doing it right, who knows. I thought it looked like a good idea, but. Okay, here's a picture of two different torque wrenches. The first one I did on the video and the second one I did afterwards. I think a lot depends on how the numbers are engraved, how well it stays in there. 